Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add a new column uh, on a table that you already have. So in this case, I'm working with a few patients and I want to add an extra column that assigns the location of uh, this hospital but it's going to assign that with the zip code okay so I may have two different hospitals in Georgia so I'm going to add a new column that specify where this customer sorry where this patient is going to have a surgery in case that they have a surgery in the future so um, basically adding a column and that column is going to have a name uh, and it's going to be surgery location all right I'm going to start with this I'm going to alter my table which is customers and then I'm going to add and then I'm going to mention the name of my new uh, column it's going to be surgery and let's call it location so surgery location and it's going to be an integer because I'm going to assign this to a uh, zip code okay perfect so if I run this query I'm supposed to have a new column called surgery location and I'm altering my customers table so let's just run this query okay it says that um, I have an error so in this case I forgot to add the table so I have to say alter table customers so let's just run this again um, and I'm going to alter my table I forgot to uh, type this it's okay let's just execute this and let's see if we have our new column so our new column is surgery location that's perfect so uh, they want us to add a zip code 23021 okay for all of the patients for now okay we're gonna have different uh, zip codes for different states but for now just to put some data just to fill the table we're gonna type 23021 all of those new values uh, from this column as you can see they're null so it makes no sense to have a surgery location as a null for now for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this table so update then I gotta mention my customers table then I gotta set a value so I'm gonna set a value under my surgery location column and that value is going to be an integer because that's um, that's my business rule right so this value is going to be two three uh, oh we have it here so two three zero two one so that's my zip code that I'm going to have in this column all right so I set the value already so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to mention the condition so I want this value where my surgery location right my column is null so pretty much is null everywhere right because that's uh, that's the default when you create a new column as we did it this way right here uh, it's going to add null values so I want this number to be in 
all of the records that are null, which means in all of the records in this case. So if I update this, if I run, if I execute this query, I'm supposed to get those values. Okay, let's just check the table. And there you go. So you have all the values. So you have 23021 for all of the patients for now. So let's pretend that they tell you, um, you know what, for the guys in Florida, we're going to have a different zip code. Uh, let's just make it up. Uh, 41001, for example. So this is going to be for for Florida um, for now, okay? So I'm going to execute the same query, but I'm going to change my conditions. Let's try to do it one step by step. So I'll have to change my where condition and I have to mention where my state is Florida. So where state is equal to Florida. Okay, so um, all of the guys that are in Florida, they're going to be sent to the zip code. The rest of the people, the rest of the patients should keep uh, this number 23021. So if I execute this query, I should see a different value for these guys in Florida. Okay, let's just update this value. Let's just execute it. Let's just um, take a look at the table again and you'll see that these guys, Florida, they have a new zip code. Perfect. So we still have a couple of minutes to create a new one for uh, South Carolina. So let's pretend that uh, South Carolina is going to be 21511. That's going to be the zip code for these guys in South Carolina. So I'm going to set this zip code as a default location for surgery uh, where the state is South Carolina. Okay, so I should have this guy here uh, from South Carolina with a new zip code as soon as I run this query. Let's just execute the query. Let's see what's going on. And let's just go over South Carolina and I'll see that I have 21511. Okay, perfect. So that's basically how you guys add new columns and then uh, start um, filling the table. In this case, I had different conditions like different um, states may have a surgery location with a different zip code. So I kind of did it like in three or four different steps. If you have like more locations, you can, um, you can keep doing the same. And that's how you guys basically modify a table. Um, that's pretty much everything for today. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.